The other area we get a lot of interest in is, well, what do I do to protect my assets from the nursing home? People are living longer. We talk about what are some of the risks of retirement. There's 10 or 12 risks that we point out. One, which is really critical, is longevity risk, which means there's a 57% chance the women in this room will live to age 90. 57% chance. So are your assets going to last till age 90? Most people retire at 65. You're going to be retired for 25 years of drawing off of your money. Whereas in the old days, the average life expectancy was 65, 70. People retired at 65, they collected Social Security a year, they croaked. <laughs> now, now they retire at 65, they collect Social Security for 25 years and croak. So it's a different, puts a pressure you know, on the system. So you know, we look at that. So longevity risk is something you have to pay attention to in your retirement plan. The other one is inflation risk, with banks paying less than 1%, inflation at 3 or 4 you know, you're going behind 3% a year on inflation. In 20 years, you lose 60% purchasing power. So how, how far will your money go? I mean, you go out now to the grocery store. I walk out with three, four bags of groceries and say it was 100 bucks. Well, what do they get for 100 bucks? I mean, 100 bucks is nothing, right? You go to dinner, everything's 100 bucks. I mean, it used to be 10 bucks. Now it's 100 bucks. So those are some of the risks. We talk about market risk. If people are misallocated, we see this all the time. Steve and I see if someone goes into retirement and they've got 100% of their money in the market. I say, well, that was okay when you were accumulating wealth, but now you stop working and your paycheck's not coming in every week. Now you have to go to the distribution phase, which was withdrawing money from your assets to live on. Well, what if you're misallocated and your first year in retirement happens to be 2008? Okay, 38% drop in the market, broker charge you 2% to manage the loss, and you withdrew 7% of your money to live on. How are you doing that first year in retirement? 47% of your money gone. So if that happens, you'll be out of money in nine years is the average. If you've got a real bad number out of the gate, first year in retirement, you're done. The longest, we've done ones with a million dollars in this program, we run in the computer, with a million bucks That's and a scary. 7 percent withdrawal rate. The longest that million bucks has lasted in the market was 12 years. So it's very volatile time. So you really got to look at your asset allocations or risk of retirement. Steve and I can help you with that. We do no market products. We do 100% fixed where your principal's never at risk and the worst you ever earn is a zero for the year if you're working with us. And let me tell you, if you're up against a 38% market drop and I give you a zero on your statement, you'll kiss me on the cheek. Because you'll be 38% ahead because you didn't risk your principal. So those are some of the risks. The other one is, Medical risk, things are costing more now. You're noticing use Medicare used to cover this much in benefits, now they're shrinking the base, which means people now have to pick up bigger supplements. So you're going to see in our lifetime, next 10, 15 years, supplements are going to go from 100, 200 a month to 800 a month. Because the base plan is going to pay less, and you're going to need a bigger supplement to cover what the base, that's a risk, added cost to the family. And the other one is the risk of going into the nursing home, which I'll cover some of the rules, but uh, I'm certified in long-term care, and I had an elder law attorney who told me that if you don't discuss the potential risk of a nursing home admission on a retirement plan, he said, I consider that malpractice. And he says, let me tell you where you'll be sued. He says, you'll be retired, and your son will be running the business, and your lawsuit's going to come along when you're 80. And he says, it won't be from your clients that you dealt with for 30 years. Guess who the lawsuit comes from? The kids that didn't inherit anything because mom and dad went in the nursing home and the whole 500,000 401k gets spent on the nursing home. And then they read the plan. And they say, that guy never pointed out the risk of going in the nursing home. It's George and Steve's fault for not recommending long-term care insurance and planning. Let's sue them. That's why we didn't get an inheritance. See the risk? It's a potential risk. We're living longer. And I tell people, you've got to look at the diseases of the mind. I mean, we can do... Uh, knee transplants, my brother had a hip replacement, we got open heart surgery, kidney, right, liver transplants, early detection diabetes, 93% of this room is on a statin drug, right? High cholesterol, now about 90, how many are on statins? So we're living longer is the bottom line, and our bodies, they're making them last longer, but they can't fix the brain, and that's where Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, stroke take over. Well into your 80s. So you want to be planning to not work your whole life and then your last two, three years your health lets you down and all your assets go to pay for